Hi everyone, on behalf of Alpha Omega Product Development Systems and Sys Channel Partner, I would like to take a few minutes to explain the best practices for fan simulations using ANSYS Fluent. So, Fluent is a powerful general purpose CFT tool for simulation of a wide variety of physics. For this video, I will be focusing on axial fan simulations and I will take a very simple fan model for the sake of demonstration. So, simulation can be done either steady state or transient. If you're interested in time variations of the result, then go for transient. But if only the final result is important, steady state would be sufficient. Here are some hints. For steady state case, Fluent has the moving reference frame method that the frame motion is specified. No mesh interface is needed and coupled pseudo transients should be used for pressure velocity coupling. For transient case, Fluent has the sliding mesh approach where the mesh motion is specified. Mesh interface is required. Piezo is the suggested scheme for pressure velocity coupling and for temporal formulation, the bounded second order implicit is recommended. As a general rule of thumb, even for transient case, it's better to start with the steady state moving reference frame simulation, and once the flow is established, then switch to the sliding mesh transient simulation. Let me show you how to do that in ANSYS Fluent. Here is a simple model where we have an axial fan located inside a cylindrical enclosure. We have to make sure that we have two different cell zones for the stationary and rotating uh, domain. As you see, I have two cell zones that I called enclosure and fan. Enclosure is basically my cylindrical stationary domain and the fan is my rotational cell zone, as you can see here. Let's say we want to start with the steady state model. In the general tab, keep the steady time and pressure based solver and then specify your material. In my case, I would use air. The important next step is to set up your rotational cell zone. In my case, the rotating zone name is fan. So you need to enable frame motion and set the rotational direction as well as your rotational velocity. The rotational direction is very important for this fan only rotating in negative Z direction would basically create the flow from inlet towards outlet. For the boundary condition, I just specified the zero total pressure at the inlet and zero gauge pressure at the outlet. You could also have some other configurations such as mass flow inlet or velocity inlet. For the wall boundary conditions, you can leave the boundary conditions as it is since the default is stationary with respect to the adjacent cell zone. Uh, especially for fan blades, you can have the default uh, setting or you can change this to moving wall but zero rotational speed relative to adjacent cell zone. These two boundary conditions are identical in this case. And for the turbulence model, you could use the K omega SSD RANS model. In the solution method, choose coupled scheme for pressure velocity coupling and enable pseudo time method and if your mesh has poly types of mesh like in this case that i have poly mesh you need to enable this option as well so i guess you're done with this today state settings just initialize and run your model but what if you would like to solve the transient simulation? What you need to do is to set up the steady state case like this, run the model for a couple of, let's say, thousand iterations, and then switch to the transient sliding mesh method. How to do that? 
there is a text command in Fluent then that you can automatically change your steady state moving reference frame model to the transient sliding mesh model. Let me show you how to do that. So in Fluent Console, you need to type few commands. First, type mesh, hit enter, and then type modify, hit enter, and then this option here, MRF2 sliding mesh. So type MRF2, hit enter, and then you need to put your cell ID. So my defense cell ID, in my case, is 6335, and then hit enter. So as you see, the mesh interface is created here. So I have sliding interface mesh that is created. And also, if I check the fan cell zone, the cell zone has been changed to mesh motion from frame motion. And then in the general tab, the time has been changed from steady state to transient. So everything has been done automatically by Fluent. So in the solution tab, here I would suggest to select Piezo scheme for pressure velocity coupling because it offers higher under relaxation factor for pressure and momentum equations. And then you may choose the bounded second order implicit for transient formulation. In the run calculation tab, the time step size is extremely important in transient simulations. For fan model, the rule of thumb for time step is to set the delta t no longer than to turn the sliding interface no larger distance than the cell size at the interface. You can do some hand calculation to find an appropriate time, time step size and apply a fixed time step size here, but you could also select the ad adaptive time step from here with CFL based method. And then you can use a low current number like one. This guarantee to obtain the time accurate solution in the transient flow simulation. I believe that's pr pretty much it for the transient model. Just uh, hit calculate and monitor your solution. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe our YouTube channel for future updates and put comments if you have any questions. Thank you and have a wonderful day.